Okay, so here they give us a graph and they want us to um, write the linear equation. So write an equation from a linear function given a graph of f. Uh, I don't see f labeled any place here. Oh, it's right there. It's hard to see it. That's an f. Okay, um, so there's our function. I would make this as easy as possible. Now you could use the um, slope formula, you could use the point slope formula form, but I wouldn't bother. I would just use the slope intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. So b represents the y intercept. I'm going to see if I can see what the y intercept is. It looks like the y intercept's right there. Okay, so at 0, 2, which means b is 2. Okay, um, that's where it's crossing the y-axis. Now you'll have to go by the information they give you on the graph here. They don't label any points, so I'm just trying to eyeball it. Okay, now let's see if I can figure out the slope. Well, I have a point here. Looks like I have a point here that's going through that point, um, negative 2, negative 4. And it looks like I have a point here, like 2, 8. So let me just do rise over run, and I'll just count and see, you know, see how it goes here. So I'm counting up 2, 4, 6, and over 2. So it looks like the slope is rising 6 and running 2. Um, yeah, so it's just rise over run. I was going to say something that I thought might be helpful, but... I'm just counting, you know, 1, 2, 3, and then over 1. But actually, they were each worth 2. Turns out that ratio is going to still be 6 over 2. Now, I'm going to double check it. I'll do it in green. I'll double, double check it from this point to this point. So I'm going up 2, 4, 6, and over 2. So that one is also 6 over 2. That ratio has to be consistent. Now that they gave us actual points with the numbers, we could calculate that doing the um, slope formula. But we're just eyeballing this. Okay, it looks like the slope is 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, so I can just write the um, function y equals 3x plus 2. Okay, so that one's not too bad.